Time now for Sid Six Zero. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk with my mouth. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. Soccer fans in the city of Toronto. Remember this? What a moment this was. Toronto FC on a fantastic June day about a month ago, introducing their newest signing right by Cafe Diplomatico, Italian international Lorenzo Insigne. Good times. Here comes another skillful Italian maestro who, like Sebastian Jovinko, will save the franchise. Back then, we couldn't wait to watch the former Napoli man get out there and do his thing. Here's the thing. We're still waiting. A calf injury is preventing BMO Field from seeing what they've got. And right now, what they're looking at is one of the worst teams in Major League Soccer. They're winless in five and sit second last in the Eastern Conference. The signing of Insigne was a bloody big deal. But there's only 13 games left in the season. If Insigne doesn't get on the field soon, and by soon, I mean like this Saturday in Charlotte, you can start to flush the season. Someone needs to make the argument against that. Michael Singh of MLS.com in the parlay may make the argument here. Mike, good morning to you. Am I overreacting? Like, the games are ticking away here. No, you're not overreacting at all. It's, it's a deep hole that TFC have dug themselves in. Eight points back is what you mentioned. 13 games remaining. There's a, there's a lot of work to be done. And yeah, this team needs the quality of, of Insigne and, of course, their most recent signing, Bernadeschi. They need them on the pitch ASAP because that's one thing this team's lacking right now is that star power, star quality. So, yeah, clock is ticking for sure, Sid. What are you hearing on Insigne's injury? I know he picked it up when Italy were getting ready to take on Argentina in the European Champions, South American Champions game earlier this summer. It was during training. Where is he close? He is close. And when he had that initial setback with the calf injury, TFC set out this date, upcoming Saturday, the 23rd against Charlotte FC, as a potential option for his debut. And it looks like he is in line to maybe get a few minutes in that debut. Of course, we got to remember three days later, TFC are playing in a cup final, the Canadian Championship final across the country in Vancouver. So part of me wonders how much they'll they'll actually feature him on Saturday. But that being said, he is in line to probably make his debut Saturday as he ramps up his workload uh, this week in training. Is this, in your opinion, a successful year if they miss the playoffs, like if they flat out miss, it looks like they might, but Insigne gets in there and ignites some energy. Is that still a real positive for you? I'd say so, based on the amount of turnover that this squad had coming off last season. It's crazy to think that from 2021 to 2022, there's been 20 players that have left Toronto FC, 20 out of about 30 that have left Toronto FC and the team's moved on from them, which is, in MLS, is honestly a ludicrous number. 30 moves overall in terms of players outgoing, players coming in. So there's been a lot of movement within the squad to kind of get this thing right. Of course, they have their two talisman now, which is Insigne and Bernadette's game. For me, a successful year looks like exactly that for TFC to get better down the stretch here. And I think the playoffs at this point is just icing on the cake. Uh, 10 seconds, Michael Bernardeschi this weekend. Yes or no? What do you think? I think so. He's been in training, and I, okay. I do think he'll make his debut. He, I think he's going to eat up defenders as well. I think he's, a, he's a, still a great talent for this league. It'll be fun. Michael Singh of MLS.com in the parlay. Have fun this weekend, whoever's playing. Mike, have fun this weekend. We'll talk to you soon.